Okay, so here we go, guys. Welcome back to another episode on gameplay and live stream of Metal Gear Solid. I'm RDH Davis. Any new subscribers, new followers to the channel, welcome, guys. Appreciate the subs and the follows. So in today's episode, we're going to try try to go, to go up against Sniper Wolf. That's what they call her. Um, I try to go up. I tried to go up against her last time, but I couldn't beat her. Um, I was doing pretty good, but uh, to be honest, I think it's going to take me a couple of tries to um, get used to this. Although I did notice that I don't think Meryl was there anymore, was she? I don't think she was there on the floor anymore. Okay, here we go. Alright, that's her. I don't like that when I unequip the sniper gun. Oh, come on. Where is she? Also, S Snake moves too damn much. Are you serious? That throws me off so bad. Uh, get up, Snake. Don't do that! I hate it when he hugs the wall. Like, don't hug it, man. I just need you to... Okay. Meryl's not there anymore, though. Why does he go all crazy? Why do you... Snake, for the love of God! Okay, stop moving! Regardless if you... Oh my god, why, Snake? Why? Stop moving around. Stop! Stop! Every time I'm trying to shoot her. He moves to... You see that? Oh my god. Is there a way we can make sure that he focuses? Oh my god. Look, I'm not even moving the controller. That's him moving on his own. Look at him. Right when she sticks her head out. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Snake, you're doing it on purpose, man. Get it together. <laughs> but I like hugging the wall. Why do you go all the way to the side, dude? Oh my god, dude. For real. Come on, come on. Why do you... Dude, oh my god. All right, just be patient, just be patient. Just be patient. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, and I just shot. Wow, two shots? Can you get up, Snake? Oh. 
Wow. Can you zoom out? <sighs> this sucks. This really sucks. This really sucks. I hate that when I get shot, he also, like, his aim is at a totally different angle. And he takes super long to, like, move his gun. All right. Oh, my God. There we go. That, two shots. Wow. Get up, snake. Where is she? Stop it. Stop. Stop. Every time she's about to freaking stick her head out. Snake, I hate you so much. I do. I hate your movement. Like, I don't understand why he moves so damn much. Focus. Stop! Stop moving! Oh my god, I hate you, Snake. Why do you move so much? Stop it. We got her! We got her! We got her, guys! But where's Meryl? GG! You can stop trembling. Shots are strong enough to move Snake's whole body. Dude, I tell me about it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Let me go back. So you can stop the trembling? How do you do that, by the way? I'm curious. I need to get back my health, man. Actually, I can... Hold on. Let's go back. Look through your, your stuff. Let me see. My stuff? Like the weapons? What's this? Remote controlled missile. Oh. Grenade. MS. Aim with directional buttons to fire. Oh, the other side? Hold on. No item. Other side. Standard card. Gas mask. Rations. Oh my god, is this what you're talking about? Anti-anxiety -anx drug temporarily stops. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting to know now. Okay. Hi, little one. I don't have time to play. I don't have time to play with you right now. Ration. There we go. I need some rations. Ah, so that's the medicine, huh? Okay, okay. Good to know. Good to know. I didn't do shit! Thank you for letting me know, Raph. Bye, little one! Not Raph, Rave. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem like there's, um... Doesn't look like it. But where is our friend? Where did they take her? Probably when we left, they came in and they took her. Um, let's call our boss. Good job with Wolf. Is Meryl okay? I don't know. 
I don't see her around. You don't think she's been captured, do you? Could be. Let's ask Wolf. If she's still alive, I'm gonna get some answers. Uh oh. Snake. About Meryl. I'm counting on you. And she said that she wouldn't slow us down. <laughs> Wolf. Spot Snake. The toy! Let me call her. No response. Well, it was worth a shot. What's wrong? Why was it quiet? <laughs> mhm. Mm Snake, wouldn't now be a good time to save your mission? What's going on? I'm not sure. I'm getting a bad feeling bad feeling something you ate no I'm serious like a premonition or something what's your premonition oh excuse me complete Snake, it's all up to you yes ma'am Does that mean we could have gotten closer at times? Hold on. Probably could have, huh? Ugh. Okay, no traps. Just making sure. Hold on. Keep get this ready. There's blood. Don't move. Shit. There was some stuff up there we could have gotten. It's hard to miss when you're this close. Toss your weapon over here. Slowly. Ooh. You're still alive. You are a fool to come back here. Stupid man. Lady sniper, huh? Didn't you know that two thirds of the world's greatest assassins are women? <laughs> Do you want to die now? Or after your female friend? Which will it be? I'll die after I kill you. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Well, at least you've got spirit. I am Sniper Wolf, and I always kill what I aim at. Oh. You're my special prey. Uh oh. Got it. <gasps> oh. I left my mark on you. I won't forget it. Until I kill you, you're all I think about. Take him away. Oh really? Okay, so either way I would have got that cutscene would have happened. I like her voice. Can you hear me, Solace? 
night is tougher than I thought. Do you know who I am? I always knew that one day I would meet you. The man who stole what was rightly mine. The man who stole my birthright. Uh-oh. <laughs> A snake fanatic. Yep. Me? I'm the man you stole everything good from. And now, after the sacrifice of our brothers, after 30 long years, finally, the two of us meet. The brother of light and the brother of dark. Forget it. Your body is strapped down tight. Do you need his DNA too? Yes. I want a sample while he's still alive. We need it to correct the genome soldiers' mutations. Then we'll be able to cure them? No. We still have to get our hands on Big Boss's DNA. <laughs> Have they given in to our demands yet? Not yet. They won't give in. They're all hypocrites, every one of them. Is that your opinion as a Kurd? They always put politics first. That's right. That's why they want to avoid any leak about their precious new nuclear weapon. Boss, it looks like our friend is awake. <laughs> oh, there he is. There definitely is a resemblance, don't you think, little brother? Or should I say, big brother? Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm not sure. I knew it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You and I are both the last surviving sons of Big Boss. Liquid Snake. It's me. Really? Then what? Oof, those idiots! All right, Raven. I'll be right there. They're not responding to our demands. We launched the first one in 10 hours as planned. Damn Americans. <laughs> Looks like you read them wrong. Something's funny. Normally the Americans are the first ones to the negotiating table. They must think they've got something up their sleeves. So it's come down to it, has it? We're going to launch that nuke and ride it all the way into history. I've got to take care of some launch preparations. You're in charge here, Ocelot. What about you? Want to stay for the show? I'm not interested. It's time to feed the family. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh, that's swallow! So you prefer your wolves to my show, huh? Ocelot, don't screw up like you did with the chief. Yes, I know. That was an accident. I didn't think a pencil pusher like him would be so tough. Well, his mental defenses were reinforced by hypnotherapy. Boss, what about that ninja? He's killed 12 men. Whoever he is, he's some kind of lunatic. Bastard took my hand. How could he have gotten in here? Perhaps there's a spy among us. Mantis is dead. We've also got to find out what killed Baker and Octopus. We're short-handed, so make this little torture show of yours as short as possible. Torture? This is an interrogation. As you wish. See you later, brother. I thought we were doing the 50, 50 Shades of Grey with Solid Snake. I thought that's why you wanted his shirt off. Oh my god. Your woman is still in this world. Meryl. Catch you later, handsome. <laughs> Once she picks a target, she doesn't think about anything else. Sometimes she even falls in love with them before she kills them. Oh my god. Finally. Just the two of us. Good luck. How are you feeling? Not bad. Caught a nice nap on this revolving bed of yours. Too bad I was sleeping alone. I'm glad to hear that. This is some bed, all right. I'm about to show you some of its nicer features. Uh-oh. Oh, things? Oh, don't worry. They're all there. Washington was taking quite a chance sending you here. Someone must have had a lot of faith in your skill, huh, carrier boy? So, Metal Gear is armed with a new type of nuclear warhead, huh? 
Why don't you go ask Campbell for the full story? Uh-oh. The Colonel. Why? By the way, you got an optical disc from President Baker, didn't you? What if I did? Is that the only disc? There's no other data? What do you mean? There's no copy? Do not. That's fine. Is Meryl okay? She's not dead yet. Wolf must have been feeling generous. What if you want her to stay that way? You better start answering my questions right now. You were holding one card key. Where are the other two? What's the trick behind that key? Trick? That weasel of a president said there's some kind of trick to using the key. Hell if uh -oh. I know. I see. <laughs> no problem then. We're going to play a game, Snake. Uh oh. We'll find out what kind of man you really are. You're gonna pinch your my pain nipples. Pain becomes too great to bear. Just give up, and your suffering will end. What if you do? The girl's life is mine. Hmm. Don't die. Press the circle uh -oh. button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the select button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are you are serious? No continues, my friend. Are you serious? Don't even think about using auto fire, or I'll know. I'm going to run a high voltage electric current through your body. If it's just for a short time, it won't kill you. But I never heard that before. You're a tough guy, Snake. But I've got some bad news for you. You're no POW. You're a hostage. There's no Geneva Convention. No one is coming to save you. Starting to feel a little scared. Good. You should be. Okay. Let's get started. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Oh boy. Oh. Like that. oh, it was so Shall good. Go again? Yes, please. Oh, That's yes. We're not finished yet. Oh, God. Oh. You still okay? Uh, you want me to go on? Yes. Please. Can you take one more? Oh. Maybe more. Oh god. Oh god. You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. Oh. You're the boss's brother, all right. Oh, give me a cigarette, Your please. Brother, he's an amazing man. Who else could shoot down two F-16s with a hind helicopter? The Les Enfants Terribles project was not a total failure. What? He is the one man who could make my dream into a reality. Oh, God, what are you going to do now? What's going on? Oh. How's it going, Sun Rose? So I did it, guys. Yay! Look at his like body. Roommate. The DARPA chief? Oh, shit. Oh, that's that man. Yeah. Ew, is he covered in maggots? Oh, that's gross. What a stench. Bless you. She took my clothes. You're, what? She took your. 
Bless you. She took your clothes, so what are you doing? You're walking around naked? How are you doing, Sun Rose? What the hell? Wait, one more day for I know, Sun Rose. I'm excited as well. There are a number of ways to escape. Let's see which you pick. Okay, now let's see. trying to buy some more time. Come on, Colonel. Why don't you stop playing dumb? I'm sorry about Meryl, but I want the lies to end now. What are you talking about? Uh-oh. Metal Gear was designed to launch a new type of nuclear warhead, wasn't it? You knew it all along, didn't you? Why did you try to hide it? I'm sorry. Can't tell the grunts, huh? You've changed a lot. Metal Gear, secret advanced nuclear weapons research. Does the White House know about this? How deep does it go? As far as I know, as of yesterday, the President had not been briefed about the Rex project. Need to know basis, is that the idea? These are sensitive times. Even subcritical nuclear tests are causing quite a stir. Plausible deniability, huh? Yes. And tomorrow, the President and his Russian counterpart are scheduled to sign the START III Accord. I get it. That's the reason for the deadline. That's right, Snake. And that's why we can't let this terrorist attack go public. We still haven't even ratified START II or dealt with the issue of TMDs. This has to do with the President's reputation and America's place as the dominant superpower. So patriotism is your excuse for circumventing the Constitution? Please, Snake. Just stop them. Why should I? Because uh -oh. you're the only one who can. In that case... Tell me the truth about this new type of nuclear warhead. I told you before. I don't know the details. I don't believe you. If the situation is so serious, why don't you give in to their demands? Let them have Big Boss's remains. You see? Or is there some reason that you can't do that? Something you haven't told me about. Uh oh Currently, the President has been very vocal in his opposition to eugenics experiments. We don't want the existence of the Genome Army to go public. And that's the only reason? Huh. Come on, Colonel. With you. Oh. I'm sorry. The corpse of the DARPA chief is lying right here next to me. Oh, man. But it's strange. He looks and smells like he's been dead for days. All his blood's been drained out, too. Ew. Drained? Maybe to slow down decomposition? I have no idea. But the chief only died a few hours ago, right? Right. Yeah. He's already started to decompose. What could it all be about? Something in his blood that they wanted? I yeah. doubt it. It's just the nanomachines in the transmitter. Did the chief tell them his detonation code? I'm afraid so. It looks like they've got both codes and are nearly ready to launch. Damn. <sighs> Is there any way to prevent it? It seems that there's some type of emergency override device that can cancel out the detonation code. It's a countermeasure that ArmsTech installed secretly. You have to unlock it with three special card keys. And where are those keys? I've got one of them. I don't, we don't know, know where, where the, the other, other two are. are. Besides, I'm locked up here. We've got no choice. Forget about the keys. Your top priority now is to destroy Metal Gear itself. I'm sorry to have to lay it all in your lap, but you're all I've got. Bust out of there and get to the communications tower. Also... What? I know it's asking a lot. Meryl. Meryl, right. Yeah. I'll save her. Thanks. Aw. Um. Snake, are you okay? I feel so scared for you. It must be horrible. <sighs> I've been through a lot worse. Believe me. Wow, you really are a hero. It's a good thing the codec is connected directly to your inner ear. You can contact us any time. It's always nice to hear that you're all right. Why don't you contact the colonel? If anyone can think of a way out, it's him. Oh my, I see that you're shirtless. They took your shirt, Snake? Oh my, you have a nice body. Please, Snake, don't 
give up. Meryl? No. Where the hell is he? Otacon, are you still okay? Yeah. Thanks to the stealth camouflage, that is. I have a favor to ask. Yes. Your help. Can you I come and help? I was wondering when you'd ask, what should I do? I've been captured. I'm locked up here in this cell. What cell? There's a big torture machine nearby. Okay, I know it. It's close. I'll be there right away. Thanks. Thank you, Otacon. Maybe we should call Deep Throat. Son of a bitch. Master. Normally, when a soldier is taken prisoner, he should only give up the big four. That's name, rank, serial number, and date of birth. But you're not any old soldier, Snake. I don't want you to tell them anything. Fortunately, you're strong enough to resist. Wait. Don't say anything to tease or anger the person torturing you. If you make him mad, it'll be that much worse for you. You'll need to save your strength. True on that, but well, wait, wait, wait. If you get a chance to eat, don't pass it up. A prisoner can't be choosy. You need to get your strength back so you can escape when the opportunity presents itself. Snake, you'll get a chance to escape. Make sure you take it. Snake. Got it. Got it. Got it. No, stop, stop, stop. Snake. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. It's because I'm so used to, like, like I said, the X button is to confirm or whatever, but <laughs> it's so dumb. Snake, don't worry. You'll have a chance to escape. Hang on. Okay. All right. We just got to wait. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? The what hell? the hell are you doing? Bless you. Oh my god, man. Snake, it's showtime. Ocelot wants you. Uh oh. Uh oh. <gasps> okay, I'll tell you once more. Press the circle button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the select button to submit. Again, this when part. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. I fought wars in Afghanistan, Mozambique, Eritrea, and Chad. Among the Mujahideen guerrillas, I was known and feared as Shalashaska. I was trained by the Russian Gru. I am not like one of those KGB slugs. To me, this isn't torture. It's a sport. You're all just a bunch of sadists. Don't <laughs> confuse me with those uniform fools. Well, shall we begin? Let's go for it. Okay, here we go. I hope Otacon comes soon. Oh, God. How did you like that? Shall we go again? Sure. My God, had enough yet? We're not finished yet. Uh, 
God. You still okay? Want me to go on? Uh, Can you take one more? I'll try. <sighs> don't tell me like if we don't figure out a You're way to a escape. Man. Well, that's enough for now. I don't tell me that if I don't harder daddy. A sad age. Imperialism, totalitarianism, perestroika. 20th century Russia has had its share of problems, but at least they had an ideology. Russia today has nothing. They're struggling between freedom and order, and with that struggle a new spirit of nationalism has been born. The boss has a close friend high up in the Russian government. He's currently the head of Spetsnaz. He's agreed to purchase this new nuclear weapons system. The Hind was just a down payment. So you're in this for money? I don't need money. I want Russia to be reborn. To lead a brave new world order. Hmm. Wow, so if I don't find a way to escape, the torture will continue. But... It seems like, is there still interesting dialogue between these two? Ocelot and Snake? Because I don't think that was what they said last time. Okay. You okay, Snake? Yeah. Nothing new to report. Snake, is there anything I can do? Yeah. My arm hurts. Poor snake. I'll increase the level of painkillers in your blood. Okay. That's what crazy. Do you about the benzodrine. That stuff makes me too frisky. <laughs> I guess you're not feeling too bad after all. Snake, put the controller up against your arm. What? Don't worry. It'll feel good. Huh? Okay, here I go. Oh. <laughs> feel snake a little better? How did you do that? I stimulated your muscle fibers with the nanomachine cilia. That's about all I can do for you. Wait, when did I get nanomachines hey, in my body? Please talk to me. Say what? something to take my mind off the pain. What can I say? Anything. What can I say? I... I'm not a very good talker. Like please. how much I wanted you, Snake? Tell me about yourself. Oh. Myself? That's a tough one. Any family? <sighs> That's not a happy topic for me. Oh. I don't have any family. No. Wait. There was a man who said he was my father. <gasps> Where is he? Dead. By my own hand. Big Boss. What? <gasps> Big Boss? I had no idea. There was no way you could. It happened in Zanzibar six years ago. Only Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. So... Is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. That's all I know. And you were able to kill him? Knowing that? Oh, wow. Yep. <gasps> How? He wanted it. Besides, oh. some people just need killing. That's petricide. Yep. Yep. That's the trauma that Mantis was talking about. Oh. The one we share in common. Is that why you left Foxhound? Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while, and Alaska was the perfect place. <sighs> Snake. I didn't have a real family either. Just a big brother who put me through school. We weren't even blood-related, and he was much older than me. Where is he? He's dead. I'm sorry. I like the voice actors they chose for this. Snake, they're, they're, they're very good. Is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. Mm. Yeah. Friends? Roy Campbell. Aww. You're still calling me friend? Is that it? No. There was another. Frank Yeager. What? Who's that? Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant. 
and the only member of Foxhound ever to receive the code name Fox, Gray Fox. <gasps> oh! I learned a lot from him. But didn't you try to kill each other? That's true. We did, in Zanzibar. It was nothing personal. We were just professionals on opposite sides, that's all. Oh my god! You used to call yourself friends. Hard to believe. War is no reason to end a friendship. That's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven, but he didn't look like a prisoner to me. He was always so cool and precise. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. You knew him well? No. We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. Oh. I know it sounds strange to most people, but we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. It's like a sport. Men in their games. Men. We're wild animals. You're right. We are animals. Ah. So if you we were women friends, are high class. Then how do you explain the ninja's behavior? I don't know. <sighs> it's your genes. They make you predisposed towards violence. You really like talking about genes, Naomi. Why did you get into genetic research anyway? I never knew who my parents were, or even what they looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? <laughs> yeah. I thought if I studied my genetic structure, I'd find out who I really was. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Memory is stored in DNA? We're not sure, but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate? I've... I'm sorry, I have no idea. Of course not. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. <laughs> Wait, wait, why did she pause there? Okay, so you see that? I like knowing the these characters' lore, their background story. Like her, why she... Him asking her, why did she become a... That, that job, whatever. I'm sorry, I can't think of it right now. I, th I find it so fascinating. And then the lore of Grey Fox. Oh my god. That one was like... <gasps> oh, the drama, man. So good. Snake. So you are my enemy now. Good luck killing me, Krayfa. Yeah, good luck killing me too, bitch. <laughs> oh, oh, my stomach! Oh, damn it! What's going on? Uh oh, he had to go to the bathroom. Oh my god, what happened to him? Uh, okay, so I guess this is... <gasps> oh! It's my friend! Hey, I'm here! Hey! Good job, buddy! It's me, Otacon. Wow, they even capture you. Hurry, get me Kiss out. me, you fool! <laughs> Let me go. That hurts. Hurry up. Is that how you ask a guy a favor? Let me go. Jeez. Yeah. It's like an animal's cage. Oh, what a smell. Cause well, there's a, yeah, there's a dead body in here. Yeah, it's the Derpa chief. You don't hurry up and get me out of here. I'll be laying next to him. Oh, bastard. This lock won't open with a security card. Oh god. Like the soldiers carry. So what are you doing here then? <laughs> I I thought you might be hungry. Oh if you need more food, I can bring some more later. <laughs> also, I got you this level six card. It'll get you out of that torture room. Oh, okay. Here, take this too. What's this? It's a handkerchief. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Why? How? I don't know why, but she's nice to me. Sounds like Stockholm Syndrome to me. <laughs> I was taking care of the dogs here. After the terrorists took over, they were planning to shoot all the dogs. But Sniper Wolf stopped them. She even let me feed them when I asked. 
She likes hmm. dogs. She must be a good person. Please don't hurt her. Wake up, you idiot. She's the one who shot Meryl. Well, that's all I can do. They're planning to launch a nuke. I've got to stop them. Then you have to get past the communications tower. First, you better not you get in my get way, Otacon. Come on, I'm trying my best. That guard's got the key. You'll have to take him out. Yeah! No break. I'm no soldier. I can't but... take anybody out. You have to. I'll be killed. Ah. Oh. oh, geez. He's coming back. See you later. Oh, wow. Right. Wow. Great. Um, how much time do I have? 46 minutes. I don't think I'll have enough. I don't know what's going to happen next. Hmm. Oh, no, stop. Welcome back. Shut up in there, will ya? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up in there, will ya? Shut up! Shut up in there, will ya? Shut up! Huh? Sniper Wolf's handkerchief smells faint. Wait, 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 wait. Shut up in there, will ya? Shut up. Handkerchief. Rude. Shut up. Snake, it's showtime. Again. Okay. Once again. Okay. I'll tell you once more. Press the circle button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the select button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. All right, here we go okay, again. Okay, here we go. Yep. How did you like that? Shall we go again? Sure, let's just get it over with. <laughs> My goodness. Had enough yet? We're I know, I like yet. how they break the fourth wall in this game. Okay. Want me to go on? 
Can you take one more? Maybe. My God. You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. Hmm. Curse that. What's his name? Dude. You, you fucking idiot. Oh my god. That pissed me off that I got so excited. And I was pressing... You see, that's what I hate about these buttons. I'm pressing to get up, and I was pressing the wrong gosh darn button. It is so reverted. <gasps> I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> I'm so mad. Oh well, looks like I won't be escaping. But let me... Ah. The ketchup. You might be able to trick the guard if you use it right. Snake, why don't you use the ketchup and pretend that you're dead? Okay. Thank you very much for letting me know. Oh my god, well, it's too late now. It's showtime. Oh my god. Good heavens. Well, here we go again. But you know what? Hold on. I already run out of time, guys, for this episode, and I don't think there's going to be any more interesting dialogue in this part. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be any more interesting dialogue in this part. They're just going to keep shocking me. Um, so we pretty much know what we need to do. Either we wait for the guard to come in, and I act like a fool. <laughs> I hope to God next time I'll be ready to attack him. And like they said, they just gave me some good advice. That's what I thought. I thought, well, he gave me ketchup. I thought maybe I could put it on myself, but I just don't know how to do it. And then they said it again. I was like, well, I, I guess I'll just equip it and just lay on the floor, I guess. I don't know, man. Oh, my goodness. I wonder how many people suffered in this part. <laughs> Not just me. Oh, my goodness. Um, but, dude, Otacon, dude, it's like... Grow a pair. <laughs> it's like, do something brave for one. Like, at the right opportunity, he could, like, unlock the door. Or I don't know. Like, yeah, trick the guard. Hit him with something. Knock him out. But no. The game that he... The, of course, the game they want they want us to work hard to escape. But, oh, well. I can see how Otacon is... Yeah. He's pretty much a chicken. <laughs> but interesting how... He says, Sniper Wolf likes him because he's kind to the wolves. 
So it makes me, and then he said, please don't hurt her. I'm like, dude, yeah. It's like Snake said, she was the one who shot Meryl. But then he still says like, please just, you know, I'm like, mm, dude, if it comes down to it, we're going to have to kill her. I'm sorry. If she's your girlfriend or whatever, but uh, you deserve better. <laughs> Out of con. All right. Let me go ahead and save this. Um, for my YouTubers, my viewers on YouTube, thank you guys very much for watching. My suffering, my torturing, them torturing me, shocking me, pinching my nipples or whatever. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And hopefully in the next episode, I will get the hell out of there. But until then, guys, uh, y'all have a good day or a good night. Take good care of yourselves. And I'll see you on the next episode. Laters.